Ooh, oh, I better turn the webcam on. Hi, everybody. Give it just a few minutes for some people to get in here. Take a sip of my energy drink, sugar-free. And I needed it so that I could stay awake driving home from Kansas City. It's just I drink my energy drinks really slow. Oh, it tastes so good. A sour apple. Barry Sieg is here. Hey, Betty Horn is out here. Hello. Curitzy. Hi, Jared. Sarah Lusk. Hi. The haystack. I loved it. Just picked apples off our tree. That's great. Our uh, our fruit cheese didn't survive. <laughs> it's just been one big disaster. I don't know if we're going to have fruit trees. We're struggling to even just have a, a garden. Ogle Landry, hello. Uh, Brandy Farnsworth, hello. Phil and Molly awaits. Hi, Jared. Let's get prepared. Hi, Chef Mark. Hi from Logan, Utah. Karen McCain, hello from Arizona. Sherry Link, hello again from uh, the Holy Land. Michael Burns, hola. Linda Kernut, hello. Jordan Birch, great conference so far. I I would agree. I would agree. It's already been pretty interesting. It's gotten off to an interesting start. I can't wait to see what's going to be said tomorrow. Shauna K, greetings from Melbourne, Florida. Ken K, hi from New Mexico. Tom Trump, waffles tomorrow during conference. Oh, that sounds good. Unfortunately, I've had to come back down to reality. We had a cheat day on our trip yesterday, so we went to a barbecue place, but we need to get back to eating healthy. Currency four, is it your soil? No, it's our cows and uh, me taking down the electric fence and not putting like fencing around it, like welded wire or something like that. We just didn't do it. Kbira White, howdy from the valley. And uh, she's referring to uh, Phoenix because that's where she's from. I know her because like she she knew some people from the ward that I went to in Goodyear, Arizona. It's in the, it's a suburb of Phoenix. Sherry Ware, uh, Las Vegas. Tyler Cragen with the greatest cause. All the sessions today have been absolutely amazing. I agree. There, there was one talk in particular that I really liked from this session. It was, um, what was her name again? Tamara W. Runia talking about being zoomed in and zoomed out and <clears throat> it was a good one for me. Ruth Tautua, uh, hey there from Tooele, Utah. Crochet Mama, hello. Janet Aravello, hello from Linden, Utah. Doug Wheeler, hi from Idaho. Jordan North, great conference. Red Heart. Carrie Brown, hello. Love Sister Runia. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, I am now. Uh, what is she anyway? I, I looked it up. She's um, first counselor in the Young Women General Presidency at the moment. SH Sherry from uh, San Jose, California. Sky Rush Productions. Hi, Jared. I loved Elder Suarez talk. Uh, when do you think President Nelson will speak in Elder Holland? I don't know that Elder Holland will. Because all I've seen is that President Nelson has a recorded, a pre-recorded talk. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about Elder Holland. And uh, if I were to guess, I would think that that video recording is going to be during the Sunday morning session. Because with President Nelson, the last talk of the Sunday morning session tends to be his like main talk for general conference. But it could just as easily be 
uh, the last talk of the Saturday afternoon. So let's do this really quick. Um, let's make the assumption that he's only going to speak once. <clears throat> There's reason to believe that because the messages that have been put out have said that he's going to just do like a recorded message, like singular. So what does everybody think? Do you think that that's going to come out in the Sunday morning or the Sunday afternoon? Put it in the chat. Chris uh, Gaddis, hi from North Carolina. Betty Horn, Shauna K. I'm in Sarasota. Greg Brown, I mentioned last time, but Oaks waving at the end when it's usually Nelson. Is he being trained? <laughs> you have to get uh, the wave down. You can't be a prophet unless you do a good wave at the end. But uh, that's a, it's an interesting visual. It's a, you know, President Nelson, he's 99 and he seems healthy, but like any day we could hear that he's passed away. I, I hope not, but I don't know. Della Solis, hi there from Texas. Sherry Link, I want homemade cinnamon rolls. Oh, that sounds good too. I hate it. It keeps going down and then I lose where I'm at. Okay, Hillary Cherry, hello from Wyoming. Shauna Kay, Biddy Horn, hi there, smiley face. Tyler, lots of blatant second coming talk today during conference. Yeah, I yeah, I would say so too. Uh, the the term second coming has been used already a few times. We heard um, that talk earlier today about the 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 ten virgins. Elder Bednar with uh, the last wagon or the last wagons. Um, and there's just a lot of talk about like uh, being prepared, like being ready. Okay, let's see. Let's get prepared. Texans here. Crochet Mama. Oh, sorry. Hello from Southeast Missouri. I was in Northwest Missouri yesterday. Uh, Critzy four can't wait <clears throat> can't wait to hear uh, Emily Freeman. I don't know who that is. Put it in the chat if you know who Emily Freeman is. Sherry Ware watching on the new gospel stream. The video and the audio were not in sync for the Saturday night session. El Pakuli star Idaho star looking forward to the second coming. You and me both and everybody else here. Sarah Lusk, Emily, SH, the message I've gotten overall so far is that we are to become the people of the second coming. Yeah, that last talk by Elder Suarez, I think that was really big because it's in the same vein of uh, being peacemakers and being avoiding uh, division, specifically, uh, you know, like racism or, you know, just looking down on other groups of people, <clears throat> realizing that we're all uh, God's children. De La Salas, I read that Elder Holland will speak via recorded message. Okay, cool. Let me see if I can, hold on. I just want to see if I can find that really quick. I don't say anything so far, but I don't doubt you. That'd be great. <clears throat> Jamie Butler, I made it. Great session. Jamie, clapping is irreverent. Uh, Melissa Werner, hello from Mississippi. Tyson Price, hello from Sandy, Utah. Do you think that Elder Holland and President Russell M. Nelson pre-recorded their talks? Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I know that President Nelson did for sure. And then Dallas Hall has just said that uh, she saw something that said that Elder Holland will be delivering a message. Uh, Sherry Link, Sunday morning. Okay, so now we're getting the votes. Sunday morning, afternoon, hopefully Sunday morning. 
the choir was amazing. Last, oh, let's get down. It seems like, um, it seems like most of the votes or the guessing is for Sunday morning. Roughly, it's like 60% for Sunday morning, 40% uh, Sunday afternoon when President Nelson's going to speak. <clears throat> Shauna Kay, would he announce new temples in a recorded video? I'll bet he would. Yeah, my, I guess. I My guess is that he would. Mrs. Chef Yoda, hello, hello. Wait, Eileen Hunt, Sunday afternoon when he announces the temples. Okay, Barry Sieg, I think when he speaks more than once, uh, when there is an extra time, when there is extra time to kill otherwise one plan talk. Linda Kernut, I think last, I think last because he will announce the temples. Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 that, that's a good point. So if, if he only speaks once, then maybe, maybe that is the most likely scenario. Tim Washington, I think he's, I think it's likely that President Nelson will speak from a recorded message, but I don't know. If Eller Holland will. Lola Granola, the chicken doula, howdy, howdy. Sarah Lusk, Oak's, Oak's thoughts about President Nelson were interesting. I must have missed that. See, when I, when I started uh, watching, it was after the opening prayer of the first session. So if he said something before that, and if that's what you're referring to, then I missed that. Put it in the comments, or or if it was in the cot, if it was in the talk, let me know what you're referring to. Jog my memory. Goblin says, if I, I think if President M. Russell M. Nelson speaks tomorrow, it might be in the afternoon session, and he probably will mention new temples to be built. Ruth uh, Tua, I really love Elder Iring's huge grin. Yeah, he's a smiler. It feels like he's been really happy the last few years. <laughs> Tim Washington, I think so too, Linda. Lisa Alvarez, hi from Dallas. Did you know that when children are sealed to parents, the sealing ordinance does not say anything about being uh, dependent on faithfulness like the marriage sealing or endowment? Brenda, 6263, hi from Virginia. Elizabeth Owens, hello from Mesa, Arizona. Knowing who we are is the message I received. Yeah. Our, our true identity rather than dividing each other up into these different groups along different lines. You know, we're living in the age of identity. I'm this, I'm that I'm all these like different identities. Um, our primary identity is children of God in that we all have the potential for exaltation. Greg Brown, president Nelson end of morning or end of afternoon along with temples. Lola Granola, the chicken doula, I'm in Liberty. Kitty Gulick, Emily is the young women's uh, general president. Okay. This is Chef Yoda. What I got out of the afternoon session was pay your tithing, quote unquote, for protection. Yeah, we talked about that last stream. I don't know if you were here, but we were talking about, you know, tithing being the fire insurance uh, for the second coming, as mentioned in Malachi. Janet Robinson, I'm so ready for the second coming. We all are. <laughs> we all are. Well, I can't speak for everybody, but I'm willing to bet if you're watching my channel and you're in the chat right now that you are ready for the second coming. Carrie Brown, Gen General Women President. Okay, got a bunch of people answering that. Cabria White. Wait. Here we go. First one. Uh, she is the young women's president. <laughs> okay. She, she did, she did the don't miss the don't miss this podcast. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've like heard of her before. Yeah. Ephraim's maiden. I think president Nelson will combine temple talk and regular talk into one. Yeah, I think so too. It seems like he'll just speak once. And then of, of course he would do temples during that talk. If that's the case, I would assume. Tyson Price, maybe President Russell M. Nelson will speak from Adam on Uh, Maybe. <laughs> I 
I think he'll just be talking from home or something like that since he's recuperating, but Phil and Molly awaits love Emily Bell Freeman. She does inklings study. That must be like a typo. I don't know. April Carter Nelson video will probably be Sunday afternoon. Brenda 6263. Emily is a popular come follow me influencer. Cabria. Can you imagine a 17 minute talk from president Nelson? Yeah. We'll, we'll have to see Kathleen Everts. I love sister Runya red heart. I agree. Also a lot of talks were geared toward preparing us as a, or to be a Zion people. Lost my place. Just trying to find it really quick. There it is. Michael Burns liked Elder Bednar about the last wagon. We are the last wagon before the second coming. I feel like since so many people are saying that, that that must be the message that a lot of people are getting out of that. And therefore he really probably did <clears throat> intentionally pick that as a story to illustrate the point of his talk. It's amazing. Janet Robinson, Emily Bell Freeman is an author and speaker of time out for women. She did a come follow me YouTube podcast with David Butler and was called to be the young women general president uh, to the young women general presidency. Ephraim's maiden. Almost every song was a second coming song or mention. I wish I would have paid attention to this conference. I've done that before <clears throat> where we've looked at the, the hymn, the text of the hymn and, uh, the associated scriptures, but this conference just haven't been able to do at this conference. Claudine Burke, I want to hear Emily Freeman as well. Sky Rush Productions at Tyson Price. No, I think I think that, but what I do think is that this is the last general conference. I sure hope so. <laughs> at least like the last one before the second coming, I would assume that there would still be general conference or something like it in the millennium. Tyson Price, Emily Bell Freeman does don't miss this with David Butler. She wrote a few books. SH, I wonder if president Nelson watches this channel. I hope he does. <laughs> I don't know what I hope about that. It would be an honor, but at the same time, I, I, I'm not a perfect person. I say things that I shouldn't and could be wrong about certain things. So sometimes I like think about that, like what would happen if I like got called in and for whatever reason, and I talked to any general authority, I'd be like waiting for the hammer to come down and be like, brother Davies, we like your, your podcast, but uh, you have some interesting views about, <laughs> about this. Uh, I'd like you to, I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Glenda Wheeler, love Emily Bell Freeman. Hope she speaks tomorrow. Heart, heart, heart. Melissa Werner, Pre President Iring's smile makes my heart so happy. Sarah Lusk, at the end he started, okay, at the end he stared at his chair for a long while. Dang. That's probably what I'm going to do immediately after I'm done with this stream is go back and look at the waving and the staring at his chair. It's interesting. No, no, you're Sarah, you're referring to president Oaks or, um, president hiring. Lori has, we are in the last wagon on the dusty trail. We are the trail end. 10 virgins mentioned again. Yeah, I really think so. I don't know if like this is just like mostly my idea, but I really feel like President Nelson or President Oaks talking about the degrees of glory and um, really fleshing out our understanding of the telestial kingdom. I really feel like that would be something very important to say just before the second coming. I don't think that we truly like grasp what it's going to mean 
for the the wicked to be removed from the earth in the aftermath of that like you, you think of like um like all these like different for example natural disasters or um like mass casualty events <clears throat> and just like the memorials and stuff afterwards and just like everyone uh grasping with what just happened you know a lot of times i think back for example to 9 11 and just like how earth shaking that event was and uh it really brought people together later on it divided people but at first it brought everyone together and um this would be on such a massive scale and I, I really think like I really think that that's something that might be said before the second coming happens is reminding us that the telestial glory um, is better than this world that we live in and just uh, having a firm understanding of these different groups. Where, where am I? Oh, okay. Janet Robinson. And isn't it interesting that the adversary is targeting his attacks on identity? Knowing who we are uh, is a real protection. Yeah, because then we can see uh, beyond these like mortality-based identities, which aren't really, they're not really defining ultimately. They're, they're like temporary in eternity it's it's going to be like meaningless like looking back looking back at this rebecca nutson emily freeman used to do don't miss this with david butler emily's daughter grace took over her spot sky rush productions i think president nelson will say something about uh what he has learned about this the second coming and then it will be and then it will happen in the, the temple or outside <laughs> You have some pretty high hopes there, Skyrush Productions. I hope you're right. Shauna K, MNP, Millennium Now, please. Yep. Sherry Johnson. On October 21st, my stake is having a stake general priesthood meeting. Is that only stake level? I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it, so probably. You mean like instead of like church-wide? As far as I know, that would probably just be your stake. Kitty Golick, Inklings is a women's worldwide institute class that covers conference talks. I think the hardest thing about conference is feeling the absence of President Nelson and Elder Holland, even though we know that they're with us. Yeah. When you like, when you look at the 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 seating, you know where they sit during conference, and you see empty chairs. It, that's a, it's a sad sight. <laughs> it feels like something's wrong. Not that anything's wrong, but you feel an absence, I guess. The haystack. I can see Adam on Ayaman for next general conference ah, with a smiley face. Ephraim's maiden. Uh, I heard a lot of cheering us on through the last stretch, along with preparing us to be a Zion people. Yeah, I could see that. The cheering us on, like, um, have hope, keep. It's more about the direction that you're going rather than the speed. Um, encouraging each other rather than, uh, you know, harping on people for their imperfections and stuff like that. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, the Greatest Cause says, I also, also, I've noticed a lot of taxi driver stories. Ha <laughs> ha. Tim Washington, at least three. Yes. Smiley face. Karen McCain. In my notes, I wrote down all the hymn titles. Uh, they are they are all very Christ-centered. Yeah, the Christ-centeredness has been unlike anything that I've experienced in the church. church being a lifelong member, it's really gotten hyper-focused on Christ. And, uh, I don't think that the church was doing anything wrong before now. I think it's just that we're getting 
ready to welcome Christ to the earth. The Haystack, I won't be surprised to hear Elder Bender watching this channel based on his comments on humble workers behind the scenes. Well, I kind of don't feel like I'm behind the scenes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just doing the best that I can. Sometimes I worry about the final judgment in because like no matter how hard I try to do the best that I can, it's a unique uh, it's a unique opportunity talking to so many people. And therefore, it's like you have to be careful because it's like it's it's like great power or great influence. I mean, they they call they call YouTubers and podcasters influencers, and so I want to make sure that I'm not influencing anything bad uh, or upsetting people. And, and, you know, it's inevitable doing YouTube. You're always going to make somebody mad, but I just don't want to do it. <sighs> okay. Uh, Goblin <clears throat> Christian at Christian homes. And no one is perfect. And therefore don't worry about that. I hope to hear from elder Jeffrey R. Holland. Thanks, Goblin. Tim Washington, it's okay to be you, Jared. Uh, even if President Nelson is watching, eh, he'd have a good perspective in heaven's eye view. Uh, the greatest cause. Yeah, I wonder what President Nelson would think about the whole 17 thing with him. <laughs> I, th I think it's real. I think it really is real. I really, really do. COTMC number 26. That would be nerve wracking for me if I knew a general authority was watching my channel. I'll tell you what, I've been surprised some of the people that do watch this channel and I can't share, unfortunately, but there, there's people that, I, that have watched that I've been able to verify. I'm just like, what? Because <laughs> it doesn't feel like it has that big of a reach, but. Sherry Link, uh, I don't think this was the last general conference unless we have a blackout. Otherwise, there will be a spring one. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Who the heck knows? Uh, let's get down again. Uh, Crochet Mama, I noticed that President Oaks stared at his chair. Okay, it was President Oaks. Honey. Probably, probably President Nelson's chair. <clears throat> you guys that noticed the stair, can you say if it if it was President Nelson's chair? I, I'm I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. Otherwise, he's like staring at his own chair. Because he's gonna miss it. Because he's not gonna be sitting there anymore. Because it's such a. In in order for him to look at his own chair, he'd have to be standing, like take like <clears throat> be coming back from the pulpit and like look at it for a minute, <laughs> and then sit down. <laughs> which maybe that's what they're talking about. Maybe that's what he did. I don't know. <clears throat> Dr. Linda Schwartz. Uh, I'm wondering, I'm starting to wonder if the three Nephites are dive, are driving around in taxis right now. <laughs> maybe John the Revelator too. Well, I'll tell you what, it's been a while since I've done a three Nephite video, but there's different accounts which you always have to kind of take with a grain of salt i feel like some of them are, are maybe better than others but i have a playlist about the three nephites in john and um i think they're doing so much more than what we realize uh, in all seriousness and I, I wouldn't be surprised if they've done the taxi driver gig <laughs> who knows christy huber uh, the staring at the chair from President Oaks gave me a huge lump in my throat. Uh, was the Savior sitting there? Oh my gosh. That That is a fascinating idea. That's a fascinating idea. You know, because speaking about the three Nephites, <clears throat> okay, so they're, they're in a, you know, like a transfigured state or a, a quickened state. And when you read the Book of Mormon, I think it's 3rd Nephi chapter 28 that talks about them. They're told by Christ that 
in order to that they have to like pray to the father in order to appear to people. So it seems like their their default is that they're not visible unless they they get like special authorization through prayer to appear to people. Um with resurrected people, you know, there's there's nothing really to indicate that, but I I, I wonder maybe maybe there could be a resurrected Christ that you you can't see uh physically unless he chooses to appear. I don't I don't know how that works. You know, but that's how it works with with the three Nephites. So is is it kind of the same thing with like resurrected people? I don't know. But oh my gosh, if if that was the case, holy cow. Merrily Poorman, other uh President Oaks was waiting for President Iring to catch up, not just staring at his chair. I'm gonna have to go back and watch it. Uh, Mike Piper, tithing talked about a couple of times. I wonder how many people are struggling with tithing. I wish I could like have those statistics, not to judge anybody, but I wonder like how big of a, a problem that is. Um, Sarah Lusk says, Oaks, Mary Lee, oh, maybe... Uh, I'll have to rewatch Cheyenne 68 USA. My uh, NT is flooded. We are seeing the Lord is coming. My NT. Your uh, New Testament. Your Northwest Territories. Your new tractor. Let me know what NT is. My NT is flooded. We are seeing the Lord is coming. Well, I, I agree with that. Sky Rush Productions, I think there will be a temple in Russia called, and that is when it is going to happen. Maybe. I mean, we're, we're there has been a, a temple announced for Russia, but not uh, like not a specific city. And it's been like that for a while now. And it's just, it's still just, announced uh for its status shiny nickel rn this has been a wonderful conference so far very very heavy on the second coming type of vibe uh the talk on tithing really had me thinking they're saying pay it for protection and so we don't burn yeah i might you know i might as well just read that right now really quick just in case anyone needs like a reminder of tithing being associated with the second coming. Um, I think, I think this is where it says it. Malachi three, eight. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me, but ye say, wherein have we robbed thee in tithes and offerings? Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that there uh, shall not be room enough to receive it. That might be another part of it too, by the way. Just we're moving into ever more complex and difficult times. So I'm sure we could all use more blessings for one, but anyway, continuing on, it says, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes and he will, he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in, in the field. saith the Lord of hosts. Hold on. Pretty sure that. is stubble in chapter four he says for behold the day cometh that shall burn as as an oven and all the proud yea all that and all that do wickedly shall be uh stubble and the day that cometh shall burn them up saith the lord of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch 
Oh, and that got brought up. Was it this session? The whole thing about like uh, root and branch? No, I think that was President Oaks that talked about that. Neither root nor branch. Sorry, give me just a second here. Okay, whatever. That's that's basically it. Okay. <clears throat> Shauna Kay, the, the theme of Bay of the Last Wagon was about the unsung heroes, the not famous members of the church who just go about quietly doing their part. Goblin 2004, I think we realized that, or sorry, I think we, I, I think when we realized that Oh my gosh. Remember, I didn't get very much sleep last night. I think we realize what it will be like when the wicked are taken off the world and the millennium happens. It will be much like what happened in the Book of Mormon in 3rd Nephi 8. Yeah. I really think that's why uh, that, among other reasons, is why President Nelson wanted us to read the account of the Savior coming to the Americas because... That's probably the best uh, depiction that we have of what it's going to be like. Um, we know that Third Nephi is a foreshadowing of the Second Coming, and we can read that and get a sense of what it what it's going to be like. And in and, and, and as far as like the wicked not being there, you know, it talks about a lot of like a lot of pain and anguish for people that are gone and. But there's also a lot of like amazement at how the the, the earth has changed, you know, with uh, the change in the terrain, just like so many changes, like a, just a brand new world, essentially, from how things were before. Um, Ginger McGovern, hasn't there already been a temple in Russia announced? Yes. But I'm sure you typed that before. I was talking about it. It's been announced, but it's been a while. They still don't have a location. Last I checked. Cheyenne, 68 USA. Oh, New York, New York. Okay, so not my NT. <laughs> New York, New York is flooding. Uh, the type changed before I could change it. The Lord is coming. I don't know if it was you or somebody else, but New York City flooding. Yep. State of emergency in New York due to flash flooding. And it is talking about New York City. Holy cow. This will probably be... Yep, there's the guy, you know, on top of the car. Stranded on top of the car. Probably be talking about this on Monday. <laughs> Green Tree, do you think people who inherit the terrestrial or telestial kingdoms will be happy there? I find it hard to think so, uh, knowing they could have achieved much higher and be with family. I think ultimately, you know, there obviously, I think it's going to be both. I think they're they're always going to have to deal with that fact that they could have had more, that they had more potential and they never, and they didn't realize it. But uh, we also know that all of these kingdoms of glory are beyond what we can like comprehend right now. So they'll, they'll always have to deal with those missed blessings, but putting that aside, I, I think they will be happy uh, to a certain degree. They'll have a certain degree of happiness. Much more than any of us, I think, will experience here in this life. Sherry Link. Hi, Haystack. Woo, like going like that. Crochet Mama, I got the impression that the second coming is farther away than what I'm expecting. It was depressing. Uh, tell me I'm wrong. Well, you know, nobody knows. Nobody knows. But I will say this, like I said, 
in April, that's going to be five years from when President Nelson said that time is running out. I don't think that he would say that uh, if it was still 10 years away. I mean, he could. But just all the things that we see happening in general conference, uh, the last few general conferences, again, him calling us to be the people of the second coming. I'm not so sure that the prophet would be instructed to do that until it's close. Um, no, yeah, I think you're wrong. I think you're wrong, Crochet Mama. I think you're wrong. But it's okay because uh, at the very least, I think it's going to happen uh, within our lifetime, like the majority of us that are here. Ginger McGovern, God is perfectly fair. Everyone will go to the degree of glory they are comfortable with and uh, what they were willing to participate in here and when they were given the opportunity. CO2MC number 26. I noticed that President Oaks just uh, shaved the rest of the hair he had. I just noticed he was extra bald. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Goblin, it would be like third Nephi eight through nine, and when and then when Christ appears, uh, and then when Christ appears is will be all glory's time. Uh, he will be excited to be able to help. We will be excited to be able to help in the millennium. Shauna K, I think President Oaks was staring at uh, his chair, looking for his black briefcase which he carried out morning and afternoon the haystack i'm surprised we haven't heard more about the book of mormon with the single come follow me book next year karen mccain i noticed how many times president nelson was quoted i felt like i was almost it was almost making up for his physical absence creative gene why does uh, Revelation 20 verses five, okay Revelation 20 five, 4 through 5 say only those who are beheaded and didn't make didn't take the mark will be a part of the first resurrection if that's accurate or literal or he does come in 6 months yike yikes um, <coughs> um again I think the book of Revelation a lot of it we know who's going to come forth in the in the first resurrection. It's going to be people <clears throat> uh, that have passed away of all ages that are that are going to inherit a celestial glory. Those are the first ones to rise. Um, you know, I don't I don't think all of them were beheaded. You know, it's been six thousand years, so I think that that part is just referring to some are martyred. Um, anyway, I don't know. Janet Robinson, I wonder what President Oaks' thoughts were when he was staring at that chair. Maybe he was pondering on what it might be like if President Nelson passes and he becomes president of the church. Yeah, I don't know. All we can do is just wonder and guess. Maybe it meant something profound. Maybe it didn't. Maybe he was just looking for his black briefcase, but I don't know. I, I'm just going to, I'm going to have to go back and look at it and decide what I think. Uh, Doug Noble checking to see if he left anything. Deborah Hecht, uh, President Oaks stared at President Nelson's chair. Goblin, President uh, Down H. Oaks, as he was walking past the chairs in which the first presidency sit in, the, sit in, President Down H. Oaks paused like he was honoring the prophet. And I don't know, maybe that maybe that's the most likely explanation just kind of like recognizing in front of the church you know he, uh president nelson's absence and kind of like honoring him but maybe christ was there <laughs> maybe adam was there maybe this is one of the sessions of uh adam on day maybe adam was there Janet Robinson, do you think the three Nephites and even John the Revelator get to attend events like General Conference? Yeah, I do. I think there's a lot of people that are unseen 
both in the spirit well maybe maybe in the spirit world and and then people that are resurrected or uh like the three nephites translated that are there but you can't see them Uh, Eileen Hunt, you do a great job. I think all the brethren would be impressed by your research and your ability to share your thoughts. I think they would love your phrase tracker in your timeline. I hope so. I don't want, I just, I don't want to be like accused by them or anybody like, you know, you shouldn't be looking that close into things or you're making too much out of nothing. And I don't know. I try and follow the spirit and pray about it and stuff. I feel okay. I feel the worst when I get like too passionate about something that could make someone feel like I'm judging them or, um, you know, ca- causing some kind of division along, you know, line, certain lines of thinking and stuff like that. Uh, crochet mama at Chrissy Huber. I was wondering the same thing was Christ sitting there and I'm just not worthy enough to see him. It was probably the case. Crochet mama. It's because you don't think that the second coming is happening soon enough. You're just not, you know, you're not spiritually tuned in. I'm I'm kidding, obviously. I'm kidding. If it makes you feel any better, I didn't see him. <laughs> well, I wasn't watching that part, so I won't I wouldn't worry about stuff like that, crochet mama. You've always come across me like you've been watching the channel for a while. You've always come across me very faithful and good. Like a good person, a lot of you do. Christine Poe, hello, Brother Jared. Greetings from West Virginia. Mountain Mama. Uh, G. Grace, the church has employees that search all forms of social media, blogs, vlogs, and blogs, vlogs, and bears. Oh my, laugh <laughs> out loud. Uh, <clears throat> they take the pulse of what's going on in social media and then turn and report. wonder what my report looks like. Uh, <clears throat> Kalen Baum, I was at the conference center for the morning session. When President Oaks walked, walked in with President Eyring, there was a very strong feeling of the spirit and everyone stood for them. It was amazing. Yeah. Well, well, and if you don't know, um, that is typical when, whenever the prophet or whoever is presiding, everyone always stands up. So that's something that always happens, but, um, but yeah, feeling the spirit, I'm sure, I'm sure it was very strong. Uh, karate videos and more laugh out loud. He has a dimmer. Okay. He has a, (laughs) okay. (laughs) Laugh out loud. Dot, dot, dot. He has a dimmer switch. Dot, dot, dot. Also, the three Nephites can be in your presence and uh, and you not see them. Trust me on this. Uh, so, like, they can kind of, like, <clears throat> they can kind of, like, barely be appearing to you. And then if someone else comes by, they just, like, turn it all the way down. John Wayne Hollywood. Hey, Jared, your channel really helps me with uh, studying the gospel and comparing to other members who have channels. Uh, but do not compare scripture but do not compare scripture with talks given by prophets and apostles. Thanks. Thank you, John. The haystack. The last of my siblings just left the church because of his view on tithing. Oh, really? So others must be too. No wonder they spoke on it. Yeah. I wish I, I wish I could see the big picture on that. And, uh, how much a problem, how much of a problem people are having with, tithing you know it's there's like always the cost of living that's always a concern but at the same time people are becoming more and more worldly more uh materialistic and so it's like harder to sacrifice your your hard-earned money because you view it as your own uh rather than the lord's and you have things you want to buy trips you want to go on stuff like that it's easy to understand why it's hard to pay tithing. I'm sure it is for all of us at one point or another. But yeah, it's probably more and more of a struggle for people as like in general as time goes on. Hillary Cherry, just one thought. If the last dispensation began, uh, 
If the last dispensation began on April 6, 2000, today is exactly 20.8 years uh, since the since that day. Half hour of silence. Oh yeah, you're, yeah. She's talking about the uh, the whole thing about uh, you know it, it talks about it in D and C, and I think also in the Book of Revelation, the half hour of silence. And so if you take God's time. Uh, equating a thousand years to a day of God's time, then a half hour uh, equals 20.8 years. So hope so. I hope so. Goblin 2004, my wife and I are trying to get better at paying tithing and we need to continue to pay tithing each paycheck. I'm sure God will help us to be worthy. Yeah, I, th I think the best thing that you can do is uh just pay your tithing first and then <clears throat> whatever else after that just deal with it the way that you need to deal with it but if you just pay that first and make it not available so there's no temptation to use it um i think that's probably your best bet that's what we do kitty gulick i'm actually praying for a temple in mongolia there are so many saints there that are far removed from access to a temple that it would be a boon for growth as well. Oh gosh. Yeah. Cause, uh, Mongolia on either side of Mongolia is, uh, Russia and China. So, um, visualize that. I'm sure that their closest temple would be, Uh, yeah, it's not a, that's not a good place in the world uh, to be as far as like proximity to temples. Cause even like the middle East is better off because you have, uh, you have Europe right there. You can take a plane, go to, I don't know, go to Italy, for example, Ukraine, although you might not want to go there right now, but Mongolia is even it's even further seems like their closest temple would probably be South Korea and then maybe uh oh the Shanghai temple didn't we read that that foreigners are not going to be able to go to the Shanghai temple or something like that anyway yeah so probably South Korea is the closest for Mongolia that would be great Mr. Sheffield, I think it was New York City. It's been flooding. Stephanie, while I agree with, and then Shiny Nichols said New York is flooding. Stephanie, while I agree with Crochet Mama, I felt like uh, it was further away than I want it to be. And I'm wanting someone to tell me I'm wrong. I was really hoping sometime this fall or next year. I really think there's a lot to be said for. Uh, the second coming coming at a time that you think not because sorry, it's so annoying losing my place here. Here we go. Okay. Because <clears throat> we know that, that people that are wicked, not spiritually minded, so on and so forth. There, there's foolish virgins uh, in the church. And then obviously outside the church that, that don't watch. They're not ready, they're not prepared, and they're not watching. We're commanded to watch, and by doing so, we can like get a feel for when it's going to happen, just like a woman that's about to give birth, right? We all know that. And I feel like a lot of us feel that. But then uh, Christ says that, you know, watch, therefore. So people like us watching, watch, because I come at a time you think not. And I feel like that gets skipped over all the time. You know, that that's like one of the biggest problems I have with some of these timelines or people that think that there's like all these things after that stuff to take place because um, if all those things did take place, then you'd be like almost certain when he's going to come, you know, because it's like, OK, the entire checklist, it's all done. But like if it's if things are more ambiguous and, and prophecy plays out a lot more naturally and in ways that you don't expect, then 
he could come anytime and you be like, well, I thought this was supposed to happen. And it did just not how you thought, you know? So that's my thought on that. The haystack. We are, uh, we are living in a tithe. We are living in a tithe of priesthood service since Christ was on the earth. Oh, you mean like for how long the priesthood has been on the earth? It's like it's like a tithing for the last two. Yeah, that's what he's saying. More or less, because first vision, you know, it's been 200 years. The priesthood didn't come until after that. But, you know, you could say roughly 200 years, roughly the better part of 200 years. And then 2000 years since Christ was here. So, yeah, I think I see what you're saying. Interesting thought. Ephraim's maiden, I think a lot of people are struggling financially and maybe having trouble paying uh, tithes. Also probably because of the tithing lawsuit currently going on. Yeah. Yeah. And one thing that probably uh, affects a lot of people is debt. You know, being really in debt because... Uh, you know, it doesn't make things easier for you financially. You have money going somewhere that, you know, you, you might have to choose between paying debt or uh, paying tithing. A lot of people would uh, prefer not to go into collections or, um, you know, default on their loans. Um yeah, so the, the church has always said that we need to stay out of debt and uh, live within our means. And by doing so, uh, it'll be easier for you to pay tithing, most likely. Cozy Christian Cottage, here in Cache Valley, Utah, as soon as the evening session ended, uh, we've, been we've been bombarded with a super crazy wind and thunderstorm. It's nuts. The timing also just seemed really bizarre. That's interesting. I'm going to look at Zoom Earth just really quick. Sorry, I wish I could uh, screen share, but I'm 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 doing this uh, through YouTube, like just a direct, you know, live stream rather than through OBS. Hmm. Yeah, it's showing uh, per precipitation there. And kind of like down the middle of the state too. <clears throat> Actually, all the way up from like Pocatello. If you imagine like a straight line from Pocatello going down through the Great Salt Lake. And then down to like Richfield. Well, be safe. <clears throat> uh, Britta, Britta Israelson. Yeah, I'm in Cache Valley, and the weather just got super crazy. Shannon, may God be with you, Cache Valley folks. Lean on Christ. Yes, Cache Valley is getting hit hard. Our lights have been flickering in, flickering here in Logan. My children are freaking out. <laughs> and then laughing, sweating, smiling. Karate, uh, prince of the wind and air, not happy with what was said. Cozy Christian Cottage. My cats are freaking out too. Janet Robinson, did you watch the World Report? They talked about the newly dedicated temple in Montana. It's built in modular form, so it's faster to put together, like 50% faster. Talking, Talk about hastening the work. Yeah. Be interesting to see what temples are announced this conference and how many. Cozy Christian Cottage and kids, kitties and kittens. <laughs> Ephraim's maiden, James Huntsman lawsuit, an ex-member suing to get back millions from church that he paid in tithes. Oh, yeah, that's right. I recognize that name. I remember coming across an article talking about that. Sky Rush Productions, when I was looking at President Oaks, I thought I saw a spiritual being, and I think that might have been Jesus in the chair. Sure hope so, Sky Rush. Sure hope so. James Anderson, thunderstorm in Cache County, uh, not expected to be severe. Those will 
<clears throat> those will die out, rain off and on, rain off and on for three days, according to KSL. Eileen Hunt, also your flood the earth challenge would uh, be noteworthy to all of the 15. Yeah, that's true. Um, I, I think like the majority of uh, the shares have been like shares that wouldn't have happened otherwise. I hope that's the case. I think some people that share like they, they'll like add their tally, but it may have been something that they would have done otherwise. I'm, I'm wanting, I'm wanting the challenge to be like something that uh, pulls out shares of the Book of Mormon that otherwise would not happen. That's like the whole purpose is to just give some kind of motivation uh, to do that. And I think it's happening. So it's good. Cozy Christian Cottage. The weather forecast has said not severe, but we we've already had We've already had trees breaking in my neighborhood. One of the oak trees near us is almost half gone. <laughs> it reminds me of something I need to do next week. We have another tree. The, the There was already a branch that fell down on one side. So I took the chainsaw to it, cut it up in pieces. And then on the other, on the exact opposite side, three more branches fell down. And this was like two weeks later. It's just like, it's so hard for me to like carve out time to do things like that, but I got to do it because it looks all crazy. Hillary Cherry, DNC 8895. And there will be silence in heaven for the space of half an hour. And immediately after shall the curtain of heaven be unfolded. Yes. Marcella 71C. Hi from Las Vegas. Oh, and by the way, as far with that whole idea of, um, uh, the half hour of silence in heaven. As we've studied the church manuals, it's talked about that. I think, in fact, I think we um, came across it as we were going through the book of Revelation chapter by chapter. And it was talking about, you know, there's not like a specific definition of what that means, but that it probably has to do with the preaching of the gospel. Because, for example, in the book of Revelation, when it talks about preaching the gospel, that there's an angel you know, flying through the heavens, preaching the gospel. Um, statements by general authorities identified that angel as the angel, angel Moroni in, in missionary work going on in the world. And so <clears throat> my best guess, and, and it is a guess, you know, no one has clearly defined what that means. But my best guess is that if there was a half hour of silence or a time when the gospel wasn't being being preached. I would think that it was uh, during COVID. It, it was a it was an unprecedented event that took place in the history of the church. Um, if you if you go to that Wikipedia page that shows church growth since the beginning, there's never been a time where there's been like a, a big dip in um, you know converts for that year, new converts. That's, that's like the only time there may have been other times, but nothing so dramatic as what happened in 2020 and 2021, not to mention that not only was missionary work hindered, but all temple work stopped across the whole world. So that's my best guess. And so when we're talking about immediately afterwards, I think that we're in that time where like immediately after that happened, and I think that's why there's been all this like very uh, explicit talk about the second coming, calling on us to be the people of the second coming, so on and so forth. James Anderson, if the lawsuit succeeds, uh, he will have to pay. Uh, he will still have to pay a huge amount of taxes on what he would get. Um, a net negative for him. Really? It'd be a net negative, like on top of, I guess, like all the, well, I don't know. I guess we'll just see how that happens. Ooh, I just had an interesting thought. So last conference, President Oaks, he gave that very unique talk where he just spoke the words of Jesus Christ. 
The entire talk was just quoting the Savior in the scriptures. Um, so he did that. I wouldn't be surprised if he was very prompted to do that or just flat out instructed to do that. I've never seen or heard a talk like that. So we talked about the fact that it's like Christ himself gave a talk last conference. And so if, the, if this idea is right, that like maybe Christ was actually in that chair, that empty chair, then now he's like sitting in that chair, you know, literally. There's not a way that we can know until it's revealed, but I, I, I sure hope that's what's going on. Mike Piper question. Is Social Security a true increase since it has a negative return? Most states don't tax it. Uh, Utah adjusted it, so portion is not taxable. How to figure tithing on it? I'm not the one to answer that question. And I don't think that the church would give you a very specific answer to that. You can look it up, but th that's that's most mostly like that's on you to between you and the Lord. And then if the church has said something about social security, that would be on you to go find that. I've never, I've never heard of it, but that's not to say that they haven't made some kind of statement on it. I don't know. Okay. Cabria white. K Cabria. I, let me know, Cabria. Is it Cabria or Cabria? I know you told me one time. I'm pretty sure you told me one time. And I don't I don't know why I didn't remember. I bet President Nelson will talk on Come Follow Me or President Iring. Yeah, I guess we'll see. The Haystack security looked okay. Security looked under one of the empty chairs in morning session during a song and was tapped away by a general authority. Was it because like, hey, please don't do that because the Savior's right there. Don't, don't be looking under his seat while he's sitting there. <laughs> I don't know. Man, I want to go back and watch all this. CO2 MC number 26. What session did that happen when Oaks was looking at the chair? Yeah, someone let me know. Let the rest of us know. Sherry, where I'm on Social Security sur Survivors Benefits and I pay tithing on it. Doug Wheeler, <clears throat> what do we make of the fact that, okay, what do we make of the fact that they didn't mention by name the two 70s that were released, uh, released or the two that were called? They said you could find them on the church website. Mm, I don't know. Nothing comes to mind at the moment. Shiny Nickel RN. I think President Oaks was probably just missing his friend. Sorry, I lost it and I have to go back and find it. The most annoying thing in the world. Um, <clears throat> Ken K, I noticed that too. Has anyone looked at the website? Odd the names were not mentioned. Goblin. <clears throat> don't you think that if one of the general authority or sorry, don't you think that if one of the general conference sessions was a session of Adam on Diamond, that those in attendance would want to want to make their presence noticed? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Christy Huber, President Oaks was intentional, def definitely poignant. Doug Wheeler, don't think they... I don't think that they ever not mentioned the names of the 70s that were released or called. Uh, James Anderson <clears throat> article is on newsroom that has the names. <clears throat> Excuse me. One was Henry J. Iring. Huh. Lisa Jex, great conference. I really love the painting of the second coming they're using. Yeah. And I, I hope it means that the second coming is soon. Karen McCain, I noticed it was mentioned who was conducting, but not who was presiding. Did I miss that? I don't know, because I, I, I don't think I listened to that part. 
Mike Piper disability, I thought was taxable. Okay. Sorry. I'm not going to get into the, to that conversation. Cause I, I, I can't answer anything. Lisa Jacks, Karen McCain, president Oaks was presiding. Christy Huber, uh, lost our home to fire nine months later, moved back husband in ICU health failed. Grateful daily house was grateful. Daily house was new pay tithing first. Lord knows best. So thankful. I'm sorry all that happened, but I'm glad that that things worked out like in in, in a really good way uh, to pre to prepare you for that. We've had different things like that happen in our life, where it seemed like things were going bad, but then it was like, oh no, this was actually the right way. Jan uh, Janet Robinson, I loved what Elder Rasband said about being ready to be a missionary as they will definitely be needed in the beginning of the second coming. Man, I want to go back and listen to his talk. I really wish I wouldn't have missed it. I, I just, I was so tired though. Last night was the worst. <laughs> it was the worst. I was tossing and turning and <clears throat> kept going from hot to cold. and My back was hurting. There's a few times I woke up where I felt like I wasn't getting enough air. And it's probably because, you know, my sleep apnea. I, well, I literally was not getting enough air. Uh, Christian Fire Poppy is here. This is Jen Stevens. She says, uh, make sure to subscribe to her channel if you haven't. She says, it's been a year since they announced the Tacoma Temple. I heard that they were having trouble getting the property. No official word on when or where it will be built. I can't wait this long. Well, if it helps you feel any better. Um, so the Wichita Temple, I believe that, yeah, that was announced April of uh, 2022. And it wasn't until just a couple of weeks or a couple months ago that <clears throat> the site was announced. So it was like a little bit over a year that we were waiting. So of course each place is going to be different, but you don't lose hope. Ruth Tauwa Tua says, yes, I was thinking of thinking of Mongolia too. Someone mentioned it last week. I didn't realize we have so many church members there. Sherry, where I pay tithing and offerings, no matter where my income comes from uh, now, and I'm doing better financially than I have ever done. My testimony of tithing is secure. Lisa Jex, uh, Karen, Big Red Heart. John Wayne uh, Hollywood, I think one of the most important messages from the general conference was paying tithing. I urged my friend to pay it in full because uh, he has financial problems. I worry for him and many others. Yeah. Stephanie Wall, thank you. I really like your answer. Uh, Lisa Jacks, Fire Poppy, I live around Tacoma and feel the same. Ha ha ha. Lean on Christ, Janet Robertson, I agree. I love that Elder Rasband asked for senior missionaries. Red Heart. I think almost everyone has uh, has now had a special call to the work. Lisa Jex, Fire Poppy, uh, we just were watching your video from last night. Great job. Hope you're feeling better. Oh, I I hope you are too. I don't I don't know what's going on, but I hope that you're that you get better. Prayers for uh, Jen Stevens, Christian Fire Poppy, Sherry Johnson. I just went back and looked at the chair section and I think he was kind of looking back a little and was waiting for president Iring. Deborah Hecht. Oh, where did it go? Here it is. Maybe president Oaks was thinking of president Nelson and praying for him while he was looking at his chair. Shiny nickel RN. I'm in Lehigh, Utah, and I experienced the same thing with the wind storm. The wind was crazy strong. I wonder if it's like one, just like one of those things. I mean, 
I guess we'd have to wait for like news articles to come out and say, oh, this was like a record breaking thing or there was like or or maybe like, you know, it affected like many different properties or something like that. But it's interesting that, that that's happening during a conference weekend. And even if it's not like a major like big sign for the church, like maybe maybe some people are having personal uh, spiritual experiences uh, with this storm. Janet Robinson uh, at Lean on Christ. I'm excited to investigate that possibility for my life. Brian Fife. He said, if you don't have a very strong testimony in relationship with Christ, you will lose, uh, you will lose complete faith in the Savior, creation, all of it. So be aware. International Health Coach. Uh, YouTube's new ads during live streams are so annoying. Pay tithes and offerings, everyone. Sunflower, sunflower, sunflower. I appreciate the sunflowers. I, I really do love sunflowers. I, I love them so much. Christian Fire Poppy. Thanks, Lisa Jax. I am feeling much better. I have not coughed at all since my coughing fit uh, while, monolog while monologuing on YouTube. Laugh out loud. I need to keep water close by next time. Jenica has been sick. She's had a cough lately, but it's it's getting better. Janet Robinson, trees balance themselves like that, Jared. If a large branch breaks from one side, often the opposite branch will break. Uh, if enough of that happens, you can if enough of that happens, you can lose the tree. I didn't know that. I, I, yeah, I make I guess that makes sense though, huh? Because if a tree gets uh too imbalanced then um then maybe it's more likely to uh fall and get uprooted so yeah that's makes sense sky rush productions i wonder if the missionary age will change because they want a lot more missionaries and what was said in elder rasband's talk well isn't it uh I mean, at least in the United States, I don't know if this is church wide, but it's already like 18 years old for, for males. Right. So I, I don't know that they would lower that anymore, but maybe for, maybe for females. Sorry. That's like my military talk, males and females for, for women, girls, whatever. Brian Fife, he said the world will be in shock. Who said that? Elder Rasband? Lost my place. Uh, Ephraim's Maiden. I find it interesting that they didn't announce who was presiding. Hmm. Zip. Cabria White. Oh, C Cabria. C Bree, uh, but I will answer no matter what you call me. Haha, ha, no stress. I mean, called everything in the book. Uh, doesn't bother me one bit. Okay, but I'll remember it though. I'll remember it. Cabri, uh, Cabria. Karen, <clears throat> Karen Chappelle or Chapel or Chapelle. I'm in Logan, Utah. Other than the power going out, is it is now perfectly calm here. No more wind or rain. Cozy Christian Cottage. So many second coming themed hymns sung. Smiley face with hearts for eyes. Cindy Labrum. Shoot. There, okay. Uh, we have talked a lot on here. The women in, in travail. Uh, what happened to a woman... Okay, what happened to a woman just before she gives birth? Her water breaks. The world is flooding. Can't help but think it's a parallel. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's awesome. That's like, that's going to be in the top five comments of this uh, live stream. That's a good one. Tim Washington, they never mentioned who was presiding that I heard. 
I know fire. I know fire. Sure. I know for sure. They didn't say it in the second two sessions. I missed Lloyd Newell's intro in the first session though. Only heard them say who was conducting. I'm just going to continue with this possibility. If Christ was there and he, and he was in that seat or if Adam was or somebody, maybe they wouldn't say who's presiding because if, if they're hidden, then they're not meant to be seen at that time. But they also wouldn't want to say President Oaks is presiding if in reality that's not the case so what do you do <laughs> you just don't say anything <laughs> oh gosh i hope that's the case ray morgan aloha fall leaves jared i don't recall when it was asked about if the choir ever wore purple uh they did during the october 2022 conference all creatures of our god and king yeah, I don't I don't read too much into it. There was one conference where there was a lot of purple. I want to say it was like maybe the April 2022 conference, but where there was like a lot of like purple ties, for example, but I don't I don't think it was anything. Ephraim's maiden, that's a great thought though. <clears throat> uh Janet Robinson, I'm in southern Utah and we're going to have a small rainstorm shortly maybe the remnants remnants of what y'all are getting up north yeah well like i said on on uh zoom earth it's just like a line of thunderstorm or well, per precipitation and then there's like more uh that's in pretty much most of nevada really well, maybe I wouldn't say most. Well, yeah, maybe like 60% of Nevada. There's a precipitation right now. Oh, no, that's for tomorrow. No, it's right now, too. Okay, I just set it to current. All right, whatever. Just let me know if you if you guys like have any, like, Trees fall down or something. Cozy Christian Cottage. The fact that it's so calm now. Weird. Almost like it was showing us a mini hint that maybe that's what the next six months will be like in a general or something. Huh? Janet Robinson. Yeah, trees get lopsided. Lori, Sunday afternoon because he has to announce the temples. Uh, Joyous says, I'm going to, I'm going to drink a whole can of Coke for every sip you take in your videos. So my di diabetes, that result will be on your hands, your move. Well, all right. Peace. <clears throat> Heart with a Swiss cross in it. Sky Rush Productions. I just went back and looked at President Oaks and there's a shadow behind him and it looks like he is whispering to the shadow <laughs> i don't know what what session is it is it in the, is it in the first session you guys Tamara goodrich uh herbal tea is probably better to drink than sugary soda when sick yeah. well if you're talking to me i'm, I'm not sick uh in this it, it's sugar free i know i know there's still all the other stuff in it but I got this like, like way earlier today. Whenever I have energy drinks, I usually like sip them and it takes me forever to get through them. But I, I bought this. So in case you didn't know, I was in Kansas City yesterday and um, had horrible, horrible sleep because I, I, there was a part of my CPAP machine. I was like changing out the tube, but there's like this piece that connects to the mask and I didn't think to like get a new one of those. So I couldn't use my CPAP last night. Um, so I got very interrupted sleep. Plus my back was hurting in, you know, hotel beds. And then uh, there was stuff going on with the temperature. And then the air conditioning unit 
whenever it kicked on, it was like loud. So it was just like horrible, horrible night. And so I wanted to make sure I was as alert as possible driving home because it was like a four hour drive. Lori, Emily Freeman is the new young women general president. She used to do don't miss this podcast. Brian Fife, please saints be ready. Ephraim's maiden, the meaning of, of presiding is uh, to guard and watch over in the absence of Christ. So if Christ was there, then maybe no one would uh, need to preside. Mm -hmm. uh, Sky Rush Productions, <clears throat> I love your content, Jared. Good. I'm glad. Makes me happy. Makes me feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. Brian Fife, my military guy, says next six months uh, going to be very, very hard. Yeah. Well, I mean, things just seem to keep getting worse socially. You know, the quality of entertainment, for example, keeps going down, 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 and just darker and darker and darker. Of course, there's going to be more persecution because more and more people are disassociating themselves with um, Christianity, you know. Uh, and then there's been a lot of natural disasters. Um, there's been all this flooding, including, I guess, now, uh, as though London wasn't enough and Madrid and all these different places, <clears throat> you know, Beijing. Uh, now New York City is seeing flash flooding. That's the most recent, you know, New York City flash flooding. So um, I've just been blown away by how much like disaster there's been this year. <clears throat> and and uh, it's not just like, uh, it's not like, oh, you know, this happens all the time. No, 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 no. That earthquake in Turkey at the beginning of the year stands apart from most other years for how deadly it was not to mention the fact that it, it created a chasm in a uh, olive grove or like a mount of olives in turkey which i feel like that's like a pretty big sign and then <clears throat> we had the longest lasting cyclone ever recorded cyclone freddy that hit uh like mozambique and madagascar and some other places uh then we had these two north african disasters one day right after another the earthquake in morocco that killed almost three thousand, and then uh the flooding in libya <clears throat> which they don't man the death toll for that is potentially really large but they're like having a hard time uh getting definite numbers for that i guess but, you know, those two, they just so happened to be on President Nelson's 99th birthday, or at least uh, the Libya flooding was <clears throat> in the in the Morocco earthquake was the day before. Um, the largest wildfire season in Canada is happening this year. And then for the European Union, they saw their largest single wildfire this year. It just like a lot of things are happening. It's It's, it's been surprising. We're still not done with this year. We still have a few more months, like three more months. Oh, that's crazy. G. Grace, I would imagine President Nelson will speak uh, in the morning. Uh, it's the highest views. Then he has a wrap-up video at the end in last session to announce temples and give us his next parting pleading parting slash pleading slash invitation slash bless slash blessing. Yeah. Well, yeah. And again, the only thing that I have to go off of is the articles that have said that he has a, a pre-recorded message. So I don't know if it's just one talk or if it's a couple. So we'll just have to wait and see. Tim Washington, my doctor said better to die of cancer than from, okay, better to die of cancer 
from the sugar-free chemicals in 30 years than die from diabetes in 10 years. Is, uh, I still think sugar-free is better than sugary sodas looking at, looking at it that way. Yeah. Well, and again, it's... Yeah. It was a cheat weekend. We went to Kansas City. Uh, we're getting back to normal immediately. I, 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 it's been a while since I've had energy drinks. It's been a long time. Uh, same thing with soda. And uh, we've we've been both. We've been dropping a lot of pounds. So we're we're headed in the right direction. We just had a little a little break for the weekend. Help get us through. We had to go go eat out with uh, Joni. Like we couldn't just not eat anything because restaurants don't serve anything that's within our diet. It was really good. I had brisket and then uh, what was it called? Burnt ends, like beef burnt ends. It was really good. Tim Washington, of course, water doesn't hurt either. I I love water. I actually I really love water. It's so satisfying. Janet Robinson, I love your content too. I've never found anything like it. I think you have a gift to put random things together that we would we would normally not put together. I love it and watch every day. Thank you. You know, I based my my style off of like other YouTube channels that I've watched before, you know, other like <clears throat> before I started doing this, I'd watch, you know, channels that have to do with like secret combinations or occasionally like other Christian channels that would do like second coming content. And I realized that, you know, not, not everything has to be, you know, white shirts and ties and PowerPoint presentations or, animations or whatever which you know that's just fine but i i realized that i could cover a lot more stuff if i do it more basic and more raw and that's what i want to do because i want to do something good for everybody but i also want to learn for myself <laughs> i can't, i get a lot of benefit doing this and i want to um i don't want to i don't want to be bogged down by getting everything perfect if I was like living a different lifestyle and I was just doing this as like a what's wrong? Oh, awesome. Anyway, if I wasn't taking this as seriously as I am, then maybe I'd put more time into just, you know, getting everything nice and clean and sleek and stuff like that. But this is just what works. It works like this. The channel keeps growing and I think everything works pretty well. Okay. Uh, Tally or Tally Meekum. Before I heard any of these comments, I asked my family who, who President Oaks was almost ta talking to, looking at, as he was walking out of uh, evening session. It was an empty seat and he paused there. My gosh, this is like really piquing my, my curiosity. I want to like look for it tonight, but I, I also want to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, we're going to, yeah. But before I can go to bed, I have, we have to go on a little drive with Jenica and we just, we need to go on drives a lot and just talk. That's how we connect. We talk and drive. <clears throat> Hillary Cherry, my math was way off about the half hour silence. You're right. Uh, you would have, you would have been during the pandemic. Well, no, no, your math wasn't off. A uh, half hour of silence. If if a half hour for a, a thousand year day, because because I you know, I've done this exercise before. Because like in 2020, that's when uh, you had these like really popular timelines and presentations come out, and it is uh, in fact even uh, the Institute Manual did that calculation. If you go to the Institute manual for 
the book of revelation it talks about the fact that a half hour would be equal to uh, whatever like 20.8 years like about 21 years so it could be all i can say for sure is no one has clearly clearly defined like no one in authority no general authority has clearly defined or interpreted what that means so uh, until we have an interpretation you know it's anybody's guess Betty Horn, Greece is flooding again. Uh, Kayara or Kiara Gaiman or Gaimon. From what, okay, from what some church members have in timelines, a lot feel the start of the struggle of three and a half years start after this total next total eclipse coming up in 2024. President Oak's talk was so powerful. Kiara Gaiman, his energy was so strong. Well, that's for people that do the whole seven-year tribulation, which is not taught by our church, and it comes mostly from the evangelical world. I, I have a whole playlist about it. Uh, I would encourage you to watch my playlist called Seven-Year Tribulation. It's, I don't think it's a, it's a thing. That's just my opinion, though. But what I can say, it's it's never been taught by our church. It's it's basically evangelicals that try and piece together different things as they read the scriptures and they come up with this idea. Um, Janet Robinson, <clears throat> and you blow me away with your spreadsheets. Holy cow, you should teach a class. Slap out loud. Well, I, I do teach elders quorum. <laughs> I've taught other classes too. I've taught classes in the army about things that I had no idea what I was even talking about. Hey Davies, you know, we, we know that you already have a job, but we need you to be the nuclear biological chemical guy for the unit. So we're gonna go send you to a three-week class. And then when you come back, can you give us some uh give the unit some classes? Uh, they don't even like teach you oh, God, don't get don't get me started on the army. Um yeah, spreadsheets. I I, I like spreadsheets. I feel like you have to like keep your ideas straight and uh and you have to collect things and because otherwise like there's so there's so much that's been said uh in this church so so many times like so many unique things that you, you have to like capture it and you have to like tie it down and then as you get more information you have to consider it all and, and keep it all and uh i think everybody should should keep some kind of record or something of like their gospel studies so you don't forget those amazing gems that you come across but I, I find spreadsheets to be very a very good way to do that okay brian fife jared keeps skipping my texts president nelson i'm not skipping your text i don't see any um there might be things that like youtube just like with comments, like in the comments section, there's certain um, comments that YouTube will automatically flag, especially if there's like a link or something like that. But I don't do that on uh, chats. Uh, there have been a couple people that I've like blocked because they, they started getting really belligerent. But okay. President Nelson has been warning about this. Now I know exactly what trying to prepare trying to prepare you all uh it was brought up again today at some point i'm going to get a new webcam i hate how the exposure keeps like going back and forth d ward just now getting on so not sure if you talked about this but there was a speaker who i now forget but they mentioned being able to sense other people's sins, reminding me of your video on near death. I, you know, I, I think you can tell, uh, especially if you have the spirit, like when you're, when you're not in good company, the spirit goes away and you can feel darkness, you know? And whenever that happens, I try not to be in those situations. I think you have to, you really have to pay attention to that. And maybe that's one reason why 
President Nelson really stresses how we need to be able to receive personal revelation and feel the spirit because, you know, say that you're a college student and you want to like have a, a group of friends, you know, but it's a group that they have very worldly ideas. You know, if you're, if you're not able to sense that the spirit goes away as you're spending time with those friends, uh, then you're probably going to end up adopting uh, those ideas or the way that they do things. Cozy Christian Cottage, burnt ends are the best thing ever. Uh, also, artificial sweeteners are way worse than real sugar. Uh, maybe not worse than uh, high, fructo high fructose. That's what HF is. Corn syrup. But artificial chemicals better than natural cane sugar? No way. Uh, Joya says, uh, let's have a My Christian Homestead fast. It'll be a fun group health routine like two days a week each person choose their own days each week let's become a bride for our groom spirit and, and body if that's what you guys want to do <laughs> um cozy christian cottage at patty joe i heard him say president nelson asked him to conduct the evening session but not preside could be wrong but that's what i remember remembered hearing uh Kyara or Kiara Gaiman. Thanks. I'll rewatch your thanks. I'll rewatch your playlist. I think I'm it's confusing when within okay, within out church people are teaching the seven years. I appreciate your hard work. And then I love you. Um yeah, I I just personally, whenever like there's like concepts that come that I haven't heard ever taught anywhere um i always am skeptical and i i want to get down to like uh, official statements by the church um for any given scripture you can pretty much find a general authority that's talked about that scripture and what it means and what i came to find out about the seven year tribulation period is it relies on things that other christian churches don't have so, for example, in the book of Revelation, in chapter 12, the whole, you know, Revelation 12, the woman and the child and going to the wilderness for uh, 1,260 days. That's how it reads in, uh, you know, the King James Bible. But the Joseph Smith translation says years, 1,260 years. And the seven year tribulation period really depends on that being one of the three and a half year periods. And um, as we've studied in the, the church's Institute manual, three and a half is symbolic of a time of like apostasy. It's, it's a, it's because it's half of seven. So it's like far from complete. It's a time where Satan has his power. It basically just conveys the idea especially with the Joseph Smith translation that it's not going to be just like a little apostasy of three and a half years, but it's going to be a big long apostasy uh, that stretches more like a couple thousand years, but, th but there's more, there's more. That's not the point of this, but, but yeah, I would encourage you to watch that uh, um, playlist. Betty Horn got to go. Hope to be back tomorrow. Yep, I will be doing this again tomorrow. Oh, gosh. Oh, getting tired. Um, I'm probably going to wrap it up in just a minute here. Sky Rush Productions. Hey, Jared, when do you think the second coming is going to happen? And I seriously think Jesus was at, was at conference today. I I think it can be really soon. I don't see any limit and I can't go into all the reasons why, because that's why I have an entire channel. But I, I feel like um, if you just understand the concept that prophecy plays out in natural ways, most of the time and in ways that you don't expect, then 
some of these things that people are like, well, this has to happen. This has to happen first. I don't think so. I think that it has been happening. And I'm, I'm much more concerned with what the current prophet is saying and what he's saying almost five years now. It's almost been five years is that time is running out. And in October of last year, he, uh, he uh, cited the scripture that has to do with the sign of the son of man. And that's like basically one of the last things that happens before the second coming. It's when you actually see Christ coming to earth in the sky. And at first people don't know what it is. They think it's like a, a comet or a planet, but then it gets bigger and brighter and I presumably closer because I think it gets brighter because it's getting closer and it's Christ and all the hosts of heaven. And um, so I, just when you look at everything that's been said and all the changes taking place in the church and the hastening and um, how, how different conference has been since president Nelson has been prophet, like, with the Saturday evening sessions, everything changed once President Nelson became prophet. There, there's just like so many things, there's just end, endless things, so many. I, I think it can happen very soon. I really do. Okay, T 10 o'clock central time. This is a good, this is a good place to end. Thanks for joining me. <clears throat> I'll do a live stream tomorrow after each session. Uh, this is going to be exciting because at least in one of them, uh, we'll hear President Nelson speak. And I'm sure it's going to be good. Just remember, uh, if you didn't, I don't know if you watched my last live stream, but we were talking about the fact that he's spoken 40 times since becoming president of the church. But I realized today and I was thinking about it, that one of those times was the Hosanna shout. It wasn't really an actual talk like his other talks. So if he speaks, if he speaks one time this conference, then this may be his 40th talk. So, all right, well, that's going to be it for tonight. I hope you all have a good night's sleep, sleep well, wake up refreshed, take good notes. And then, um, We'll talk about what we hear tomorrow. Good night.